start to find selling price, when market price and discount percent is given. The formula is selling price is equal to 100 minus discount percent upon 100 multiply mark price. This formula is exactly same what we have done in finding the selling price when cost price and loss percent is given. So in place of loss percent, we are using discount percent and place of cost price, we are using mark price. How to remember the formula? The trick is very simple. Selling price, simple formula S. And the formula is simple how discount means something is reducing. So 100 minus discount percent upon 100 multiply mark price. Remember the formula. Let's move further. The exercise first question is a laptop has a mark price of 50,000 rupees and a discount of 20% is given. Find selling price. So here the mark price is given of a laptop that is 50,000 rupees and the discount on the laptop is 20%. And we have to find the selling price. We have the formula for that. That is very easy. Simple. 100 minus discount percent upon 100 multiply marked price. So 100 minus discount percent putting the values. Discount percent is 20 and marked price is 50,000. Do the subtraction first. 100 minus 20 is 80 upon 100 multiply 50,000. Do the cutting. 2, 0 cancels. 80 multiply 50. We have 40,000 rupees. Therefore, selling price of a laptop is 40,000 rupees. Let's do the next question. A smartphone is marked at $60,000. A store offers a 25% discount, but an additional $1,000 off is given at the time of billing. Find the final selling price. So here the mark price is given. That is $60,000. And the discount percent the store offers is 25%. Now the question is we have to find the final selling price when the $1,000 off is given at the time of billing. So we'll deal this later. We have the mark price. We have the discount percent. Let's find out just the selling price using these two discounts. This discount and the mark price. We'll see this further later. So... Selling price formula is 100 minus discount percent upon 100 multiply mark price. So the discount percent is 25%. Put the value and mark price 60,000. Subtraction 100 minus 25 is 75. Do the cutting. We have 75 multiply 600. That is $45,000. Now we have $45,000 selling price after just a discount of 25%. But there is an off of 1,000. So additional off is there. That is $1,000. So final selling price will be $45,000 minus $1,000. That is $44,000. So we have the selling price of the smartphone. Overall is $44,000. Let's do another example. Question 3. We have a shopkeeper marks a washing machine at $75,000 and offers a 30% discount. After that, a special festival discount of 100% is given on the new price. Find the selling price. Here, final selling price we have to find. So here again, we have the two discounts in one question on the washing machine. First discount is 30%. Let's find out the selling price using only the one discount first. So we have the Marked price because marks marked price. So $75,000 and the discount, the first discount is 30%. We have the formula selling price is equal to 100 minor discount percent upon 100 multiply marked price. Put the values, do the subtraction, do the cutting, and we are left with 70 multiply 750 and it is $52,500. Now we have to, we have this selling price after the discount of 30%. But now we have the special discount again on this amount. That is 10%. So the second discount is 10%, which is on this amount, this selling price, not on the marked price again. So this time we'll be using this as a marked price. So the formula is exactly same, but in place of marked price where we have used 75,000, we'll be using this 52,500. Because this special discount is offered on the new price. This new price, not the initial one. So 
the final selling price 100 minus this time discount percent is 10 and the mark price is 52,500. Do the subtraction. We have 90 upon 100 multiply this number and let's do the cutting. Two zero cancels and then 90 multiply 525. We have $47,250. Therefore, the final selling price of the washing machine is $47,250. Okay, so this way you can do the any question related to find the selling price when discount percent is given. Even the discount percentage are one or two or three given, you have to do like this only. So the exercise is for you to solve a branded watch is marked at 20,000 rupees. A discount of 15% is given, but the customer also has 2,000 rupees, uh, 2, rupees coupon that can be applied after the discount find the final selling price here again the marked price is given discount percent is given just find the selling price using these two after that thousand rupees coupon was used so when you get the selling price using these two using that formula subtract two thousand rupees from that and you'll get your final selling price okay thank you for watching please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming videos bye bye